What it is, what it ain't, you already know it's Top Kept 100 going hard in the paint. The Real Feel TV, which you tuned into, let's get that out the way. Now, we want to jump into Jay-Z, and we want to touch on some of this Tupac um situation and stuff like that. And, you know, we just want to just see how far Jay-Z came from, basically. Because we know him to be just, you know, your typical rapper. You know, he came in the game with money and stuff like that. But now we want to just talk about how his status and his power superseded every other thing that he was about at this up to this point. Now, we all know what's going on with the pandemic and stuff like that, you know, and like I said, we seen what Diddy did, and, you know, these are the people Pop warned us of, you know, regardless of, you know, whether we still like their music, because I do still like Jay-Z music, I still like Snoop music, I still like all of these people's music. So when I call them out on certain things, it's nothing personal. But we got to sit here and call it spade for spade, because a lot of things just supersedes the image now. And it's like, it's like they want to make them this grand couple like the Obama and, you know, Michelle Obama a rap or something like that. And I understand that they got the most power in the game as a couple and stuff like that. Some would call it Black Boule and things of that nature. But we got to look deeper into this situation. And what I want people to know is when you look at power couples like this, you never are going to get the real truth of the matter. You know, you never, as far as financial-wise and power-wise, because all the power Jay-Z has come from, you know what I'm saying, somebody a different color than him. You know what I'm saying? So ain't nobody about to just let you call shots over every black person in the game. And this is why Lil Boosie had went ahead on to set him right. And now he's saying he being blackballed and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Because he turned down the meeting. And it seemed like everybody that turned down something that got to do with him, their career ended up going wrong and stuff started falling apart. Now, like I say, Tupac warned us a lot about these individuals that's now the curtains is falling down and we seeing who they really is. Because now the money is running down and, you know, running low because of the pandemic. And then, you know, you got Diddy out here. They were saying that he was chucking and jiving for some money and things like that for $3 million And Choke No Joke basically got up on the situation on, if you worth a billion, why not take $3 million and do that? And this with this video somewhat about, just touching on everything. You know my video's real scattered anyway. Now, the thing is this with P. Diddy, you know, is the same thing with Jay-Z. If you a power couple such as Beyonce and Jay-Z, then why aren't you taking the personal money out your account? Because we know as you receiving money every day in your account in your sleep through businesses and other investments. So $3 million is like a penny to them if they so-called a billionaire couple. And that just got me thinking that some of these people may not be worth a billion like Choke said because... If they was, why everybody can't put some money together? Everybody don't even have to come off with straight three million. You know what I'm saying? But this is what Tupac was saying when he was locked up in um Dan Amore in jail and stuff like that. He was saying, I want you to really sit down and listen to the words of these rappers. And y'all tell me, is that real to you? I mean, listen to yourself and really ask yourself, is that real to you? You know what I'm saying? And that hit home, man, when he said that. Because a lot of people now, they duck low and they on vacation and stuff like that while everybody else handling it the best way they can. And we the people who put money in these people's pockets, such as your Joys, such as your Jay-Zs, and stuff like that. And you know what I'm saying? It's just unfair to the people who really love these cats, you know what I'm saying? The fact, the abandonment, really. Because we support them to get them rich. And all Tupac ever talked about was putting money back into where you come from and putting money back into the youth and, you know, edging them with jewels and things of that nature. But you see how that went when you got a person of that statue taking that stance. So this was just a reminder and just something to open their minds and just to ask questions on how does somebody image supersedes, like somebody power supersedes their image. Like, that's crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? And, like, is the power that Jay and Beyonce and them really got, is that really their power? Uh, is it somebody else controlling the sticks that we'll never see? Y'all let me know. I'm out.